Tonight, an apprentice from the Midlands has beaten hundreds of contestants from across the country to compete for the world title in his trade. Yes, Sam Fairgreave has just been crowned the best brickie in Britain. Now, on Friday, he'll travel to Canada for World Skills 2009, which has been described as a sort of bricklaying Olympics. Now, our reporter Katie Fawcett has been to find out just what it takes. We don't need no all in all, it's just a brick in the wall. Sam Fairgreave isn't just building a wall, he's carefully sculpting a sturdy reputation. And when you're competing to be a world champion, the devil is in the detail. So Sam, when you're doing this in the competition, what kind of things do you have to think about? Um, just keeping it as accurate as I can, really. If everything's square and straight, then you struggle going wrong. But if everything's not square and straight, you struggle going right. How's that? Not very good. We're totally off the line there, and we're touching the line there. Pull it back. Both ends touching the line. Cut the snots off. I've got a perfect brick there. So what would you have given mine then? Zero. Okay. And as they say, here's one Sam made earlier in a practice session. Now the finished wall will be scrutinised for even the most minute errors before the judges announce who really is the world's most solid bricky. It does look perfect, but there are errors. It's actually four mil off gauge there. That would lose in four marks. What the judges will be looking for is that they don't see any daylight. There are one or two areas where there is a gap. There's a slight error on there. Sam has recently finished his apprenticeship at Leicester College and is working for a local firm. But luckily they're not as tough to please as the judges. Would you put this much kind of consideration into every single brick if you were doing your normal day-to-day -day job? Not quite as much. But I wouldn't cut corners. Katie Fawcett in Leicester for Central Tonight.